Let's take a look at the data set first. This data set closely mimics a real enterprise organization where you have multiple business domains within Snowflake, where each data domain is an independent data mart. And almost like a silo on its own where there are no built-in relationships across these data marts. What we have is your typical sales, marketing, finance, and HR domains, each with its own data mart that includes fact and dimensional tables, but also comes with repository of departmental documents, such as PDFs and PowerPoints, you know, just like a employee handbook or a marketing budget plan. Let's get started. Our first segment is called Captain Obvious of What Happened. It is about asking what happened in the past against sales data. This segment is about Snowflake Intelligence having access to different data domains, being able to identify the right domain, and performing advanced SQL queries against a single data domain in Snowflake. Okay, let's start with something very simple that any half-decent BI tool with AI capabilities can do. This is basic text-to-SQL AI to BI use case about asking what happened in the past and getting charts and tables as results. Any BI tool, including Power BI, Tableau, Sigma, Click, and others should be able to do this simple task. Let's ask our first question about monthly sales in 2025 to Snowflake Intelligence and see what we get as a response. For this question, Snowflake Intelligence orchestration layer will automatically decide to leverage the sales data, ma data mart agent and will start executing one or more SQL queries using Cortex Analyst agent and the sales semantic view. In this case, the question was purely sales related and the agent decided the structured data queries were alone were enough to answer this question. Once it received the results from these queries, the agent will uh, further analyze these results to look for patterns, insights, and possible recommendations. Now, meaning Snowflake Intelligence not only will return charts, graphs, and data, but also with real actionable business answers and actual insights. All right, let's take a look at some of those insights. We can see the monthly sales trends, uh, the highest revenue months, lowest revenue months, um, as well as uh, key business insights right there for seasonal patterns, uh, post-holiday dipped recommendations in terms of what the capitalize on or address. Uh, we're looking at visualizations that were generated, which we can actually turn to a table, see the actual data. Um, if we actually need to see the details or change the chart types, we can uh, look at different charts or change the settings. So those are all there within the UI as well. Why it happened, the actual intelligence stuff. This segment is about Snowflake intelligence, deciding to use multiple data marts within Snowflake, using AI generated SQL, and then combine the results to generate an answer, which is much harder to do. Now that I showed you what Snowflake Intelligence can do in terms of the obvious and easy stuff, which many other BI and AI tools can also do, it is time to see the list of advanced stuff that it can do, but others simply can't. Let's jump in to see what makes Snowflake Intelligence far more advanced than any other BI or AI solution out there right now. So the first one is to be able to answer why and how type of questions instead of just being able to answer what happened in the past. Uh, such as being able to ask why was there a, such a big increase in sales in June. A simple why question like this requires complex thinking and reasoning because the answer is not simply in one business domain or a data type. It requires deep research across multiple business domains, being able to leverage the results scattered from uh, one domain to run an analysis in another one, and then the connected dots in the end to come up with the final analysis and the answer. Now that the analysis is over, we can actually see the primary drivers being an intensive marketing campaign through multiple multiple channels, spending over half a million dollars through uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter, as well as regional sales concentration, specific product categories. We can also see the business insights uh, in terms of you know the strategy and channel effectiveness and as well as specific recommendation in terms of replicating the success or optimizing uh, channel mix and et cetera. This segment is about advanced reasoning and the results chaining to solve complex problems. AI breaks the question into ordered tasks, ensuring the output from one step like, like identifying top sales reps is used as the exact input for the next HR step to get their tenure, which results in a complete answer. Okay. Imagine you're a sales leader and you ask, show me my best salespeople and how long they've been with the company. 
Now that sounds like an easy question, right? But behind the scenes, it is a huge lift. Now we're going to put Snowflake Intelligence to the test. First, the system recognizes it needs to find the top reps in the sales data mart using the sales rep name column. Second, it hits a wall. The sales data mart has no idea about hiring dates, so the AI decides to spawn a new task, go to the HR data mart, and match those sales names to the employee name field. Third, HR doesn't store a tenure field. This is where the AI shines. It automatically infers that the tenure can be derived by calculating the difference from the actual hiring date. The key takeaway here is the agent chaining. We're seeing one specialized agent's output seamlessly inform the next agent's input, allowing them to cross the traditional departmental data silos and deliver not just raw data, but the genuine intelligence and strategic recommendations. And here's the second major advantage of Snowflake Intelligence over the generalized AI BI tools, which is to actually deliver real business intelligence based on the business questions asked by users. Here, it was able to piece together the top reps, their sales revenue for 2025, as well as their tenure and whether they are with the company or not. And this is what it looks like to lead business users with actual intelligence delivering insights instead of charts and graphs like other tools do. In this case, Snowflake identified only three out of the top 10 performers are still with the company, and that represents a significant talent retention issue. And it also identified 24.7 million in revenue was generated by those reps who are no longer with the company. And finally, based on its findings, it is providing you with immediate recommended actions such as retention strategy, exit interview analysis, compensation reviews, and more. Who broke the rules? The vendor audit nobody saw coming. First, AI has to query top five vendors. Next, it has to find the right finance documents and then identify, extract the rules for procurement. And finally, send the rules back to the sales agent so it can query the address transactions. Most platforms treat your structured data marts and your unstructured documents like oil and water. Snowflake Intelligence lets you actually unite them. We ask the question every CFO dreads, top five vendors, and are we actually following the procurement rules? Now, competitors would actually make uh, you use uh, two different people or tools to do this. Snowflake performs one unified analysis seamlessly cross-referencing the 172k transaction value from your finance data mart with the 25k RFP required rule it read from your uh, vendor management PDF. The result, instant exposure. Uh, for Benson and Dowell, we didn't just find a high spend, we actually confirmed the major compliance gap because they should have gone through a formal RFP process. And while we were at it, Snowflake spotted the missing vendor onboarding paperwork. We basically threw six figures at a company we barely know. Whoops. Uh, it actually gets better. We then found a universal failure. We have zero performance data for any of the top five, despite uh, being a requirement in our SLA documents and being clearly spelled out in our policy documents. The single unified analysis gave us a clear high-risk warning. It took Snowflake 30 seconds to confirm You've been running a, a department on the trust me bro policy. In this case, Snowflake Intelligence instantly audited your policies against your reality. In the end, it identified the mistakes before the external auditors did, using the power of seamless structured and unstructured data analysis by AI. All right, for the grand finale, we're going to show you the super advanced custom tool usage. First, Snowflake is going to run sales and marketing product level analysis. Next, it's going to extract the web page from government site. It's going to correlate the content and analyze the impact of our sales. And finally, send us a custom email. All right, let's ask Snowflake to look into a government website showing a U.S. International Trades and Goods Services report to extract that web page using a Python web scraper tool and then correlate the results to our product sales category um, and then show us the impact on forecasts for our sales.
Okay, now it has data from both the website scrape content as well as the SQL analytics per product category. Now it's combining the results and showing the uh, impact of those trade uh, news on our sales forecast. We can actually see what happened from the report. We can see our monthly sales trends per category. We can see the high, medium, and low risk uh, categories, uh, such as raw materials and hardware being a high risk. And then it finally sends us an email. And here's the email. We can actually see a very nicely formatted email. We can see each risk category spelled out, as well as our revised sales forecast impact across different uh, categories. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this presentation around advanced AI capabilities of Snowflake Intelligence from the most basic what happened in the past questions to be able to run complex analysis across different data domains using both data marts as well as departmental documents, as well as being able to use various custom tools written both in Python and SQL procedures. Now, if you'd like to try this exact demo, run it in your own environment, see the setup and experiment, just click on the demo link right here.